to you from umami gourmet coffee and excited too and i just wanted to jump on here really quick today to show you this cocktail it's actually a martini that i have made from one of the teas that was in our summer iced tea boxes that's called elderflower basil bliss now Although this tea, you can still get it in our summer tea box while supplies last, I have come up with a way to make it the most delicious martini. So we're gonna do this really quickly. Um, I brewed the simple syrup earlier. You see that's a really pretty purple, co purple color. So I brewed enough to make a couple of martinis because you know, you can't just have one of these because it's so delicious. I will put up the elderflower uh, to let you know what that looks like. Now, just to let you know what this tea is, it smells amazing. It, of course, has elderflowers and basil in there. It has butterfly pea flowers. It has lemongrass. It has strawberries in there. It is really just packed with flavor. And then you get like the eucalyptus and the basil and the Melissa flowers on the end. This is really, really delicious. You can trust me on this. Now, if you order it, you don't have to make a martini, of course. You can just sip it by itself because it is wonderful. But I did make a simple syrup earlier. And the simple syrup, I will put all of the recipes down below. It's really easy to make. This only took about three teaspoons full. Um, so it it's, doesn't take up a lot of your tea either or you can use your tea that you had earlier in the day and just brew some um, brew a simple syrup from that. So either way, it works. Okay, let's get into this cocktail. So I have my ice in here and I have two ounces of, okay. I have two ounces of a fruity rum, and I feel like I'm using rum, you know, you can have fun with this and play around, but I feel like something fruity, or I know some of the companies are coming out with like basil drinks and all, so those would be good too, but I chose to use a raspberry um, rum. And then we're gonna do one ounce of the elderflower one ounce of the elderflower basil bliss and this is so pretty it's so pretty and really that's all it is we're gonna shake this bad boy up And I do want a sugar rum. I'm gonna be a little fancy. And I use the lemon just to give it a little bit of, of flavor. You can use a lemon or a lime. You can use agave, you can use water. That's our sugar rum. And let's taste this bad boy. Oh my God, that's my favorite color. Do you see that purple? Do you see that color? Oh my God. Let's get it all in there. And you only use one ounce of this. So look how many more drinks you have, or you can just um, have it by itself or have it iced. But let's taste this. Yes, 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 yes. If you wanna know the answer, it's yes. This is our Elderflower Basil Bliss Martini. It is delicious. 
The recipe will be at the end of the video. I will also put it down below, but this is it. I'm telling you, get you some. And you gotta get that sugar while you're drinking it. And then it just has a little hint of lemon from rimming it. I'm telling you, this is good. So, thank you for watching, guys. Please tell your friends about us. Please subscribe. Please let me know what you think, if you made it. I know we sent a lot of boxes out. So, if you have a chance to make this, please uh, comment down below and let us know how you liked it. And... If you have any other ideas for um, cocktail recipes or things that you would like to know, please comment down below. I check it daily, it comes to my phone. But this, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.